Hi there everyone and welcome to Aquilate Mere. Just before we begin, please remember, keep to the footpaths, close all gates behind you and be aware of any cattle, horses and any other areas where you might slip, trip or fall. Aqualate Mere is an important place for a number of reasons, but one of its main features is hard to miss, yet so easy to underestimate. What we can see now is called an esker and was created 50,000 years ago during the last ice age. An esker is a name given to a long winding ridge of sand and gravel deposits left over from riverbeds from streams that once raised underneath glaciers which covered most of the British Isles. Spanning over a kilometre in length, which is equal to 14 jumbo jets nose to tail, the esker runs along the site's wetland pastures and the mere itself. But why is all this so important? Well, the esker is considered very rare throughout the United Kingdom and Aquilate is actually one of the best examples in England. If you think about it, this has been here for over 50,000 years. It's in effect a physical time stone. If only we could see what it has been part of. Animals like the woolly mammoth, ferocious saber-toothed tiger, and past civilizations such as the Romans, Saxons, through to the Tudors, and where we are today. Well folks, this is what we're talking about. The key underlying element in the Esker's creation and structure that we can all see here today is its geology. Geology is the study of surfaces within and on the Earth's surface. In this case, we're talking about rocks and how they change, interact and do different things. Geology is important as it again provides us with a window into the Earth's history. The esker is made up of a mixture of sand and stone particles of all shapes and different sizes. This geology and the way they all mix and interact together create a really good growing environment for so many different plant types. This is important because it provides a number of habitats for animals to live. Well then, shall we move on? If we take a walk up to the top of the hill I'm sure there will be some really good views of Aqualate and the mirror itself. So, now we have an insight into the formation, history and rareness of the Esker itself. But what do all these things mean to us, here, today? Well, as we can see, the Esker is covered by a range of semi-natural trees and shrub species of all different types. These create an amazing number of layers within the woodland, from the treetops to the ground level, everything has its place and importance. In the winter, around January, February time, the geology and position of the Esker are especially great for snowdrops with their bright white flowers exploding in small clusters from their green stems the snowdrop is a small but very important species while in the spring the woodland offers an exciting display of rich colours from bluebells that carpet the floor with their bluish purpley tinge these species are both an important indicator of ancient woodlands and also provide a key link within the natural food chain and they support a whole host of other animals as well as plants, the woodland is an important home for all sorts of animals and birds, such as the native and shy roe deer, scurrying badger, cunning fox, and also woodpeckers and gracious birds of prey. Well, what a fantastic insight into the combined history and geography of Aqualate Mere. It just makes you think a little bit more about how what sometimes seems like very everyday things are created and who and what might once have walked in the very same footsteps. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've all enjoyed your visit to Aqualate. There is often something new to learn and explore every time. Just put your mind to it. Bye for now. Oh, and before I forget, thinking about heading down to the bird hide, be sure to scout out the next QR code to discover even more about the site's unique and amazing wildlife. See you all soon.